about Radio Medfield tonight, so we want to thank you very, very much. From the front to the back to the side to the side. And uh, we were just taking a second to see what else we're going to put on the menu for tonight to go with our restaurant. How are we doing so far? I admit, I'm going to tell you a small story, but, but I'm also just kind of catching my breath. <laughs> um, so, as I mentioned, this, um, I'm just going to tell you this quick story, um, and because and you might be able to use it, there's, um, it's, it's all about, you know, um, when, when people give you a look, you're, you're not quite sure what it is, and it could have different meanings, and, and um, maybe sometimes it's, it's, it, it could be best to, to think the best, but, um, but also remember your instinct, which if someone gives you a look like you should run as fast as you can, get the fuck out of there, then you should run as fast, you should follow your instinct. Um, but uh, I had an experience yesterday because I, I told you we went to my aunt's service up north, in Evanston, and on the way back through town, I had this nice guy driving, and, and my, my good friend, and uh, I just said, hey, can we, can we just take this street, and then and we'll go in a block, and it'll take us out of our way for just a second, but I, I, I want to see my grandma's house, because um, my grandma's house was like the, 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 the core, it, it was like the sun that all the planets revolved around, and um, you know, she had six kids, and, and, and then all the, her grandkids and, and all those cousins and then, then their kids. That was like the, the, the home, the, the, the main place we gathered. And um, everything about it, had, it, 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 just the building itself floods you with memories and the alleys and the streets. And so we, 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 pulled, we pulled by it and I said, oh, I think it's this one. It's a little different, less foliage and, and um, didn't have the ivy on the, on the side that made it look like Wrigley Field. But, um, but and, then, and then there was, there was like uh, three guys kind of sitting at this little table in the front of the apartment. There's just a kind of, you know, a couple patches of, of grass and, and uh, yeah. And, and pulled up and, and I was like, uh, I put a, I had a beer and a cup. And, I'll, I'll just hop out of the car real quick and I'll show my friend like this is where we used to play baseball as kids and then this is where I, I you know, this, that, and the other thing and then this, that, and the other thing and, and this one guy, he's, he's kind of big and mean looking and he had some bull shorts on and, and a white t-shirt and, and a cool beard and a cool looking guy and the other two guys were cool looking guys and, and, and they're looking at me like who's this fuck? <laughs> the fuck is he looking at? What's he doing here? What's he pointing to? And that's what I thought. And, and then I started thinking, well, it was cool to drive by, but maybe it's time to go. And, and then he got out of his chair and started walking towards me with this look. Like, like, I'm gonna keep you fucking in this. <laughs> And you know, that's the same look as, as this, which is what I found out later. He was looking at me going, is that fucking Eddie Vedder? <laughs> it's the same look. <laughs> and I, I tell you, that's the only thing I've found me. I tell you, I was so happy when, when he was happy to knew I was like, oh, thank God you knew my name. This is great. This is my grandma's house. I said, we heard it was a rumor. No, no, it's great. And then we just talked and talked and talked. 
beer. Do we have more beer? We're getting more beer. And uh, we, we uh, and then and then his mom came out and some sisters and and then it was like a movie. And 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 they weren't in the apartment that my grandma used to have. She was up in the top corner. And and I always I always thought I always thought like I, I should have just bought that thing. I, I wish I could have had the dough at the time to just buy that thing and keep it like a time capsule. And, and we could always, and it was a, like a regret of mine. And, and then this guy comes out and they say, oh, that's the guy who lives in grandma's place. And so then I, then I, he comes down, I meet him, and he's fucking great. And he wrote me, he raised his five kids up there too. And his youngest was going, or I think the youngest, was leaving tomorrow, well today, to go start med school. We're fucking done. And that's it. That's no one left. So then we invited him to the show, and then uh, they said, fuck yeah, we'll come to that show. And then he put off his flight uh, to med school, he said, I, 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 can, I can make my first class if I leave tomorrow, not today. So they're here tonight. In fact, they're here tonight. Something. It, it, it's been a place full of love and 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 power, and it had a good vibe. And then you took it and raised even, you know, your six kids too. So thank you. I just want to thank you. I know it's in your hands now. So these are to my. Uh, this is for my new friends, and um, and 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 sitting with them in the front porch and feeling the Chicago summer air, which is only found in Chicago. Mm -hmm. 